of a headache still, but um, for the most part, I'm fine. Anthony and I are out doing our grocery shopping. And this morning, I was going to be good and make a smoothie, and um, yeah, I just didn't feel like it. So Anthony was having leftover waffles for breakfast, so that's what I had to because that's what we had in the house, and that was wonderful, and yeah, that's just what I ate. So there you go. Um, anyways, we're out doing shopping. I don't actually have any plans for um, food for today. I mean, I have plans in terms of there are several things that I want to make still, but I don't have any exact specific plans for what it is that I'm going to make today. So anyway, I will get back with you guys again a little bit later when it comes time to be making food to eat, and I hope you're having a good day so far. Alrighty, everybody. So I have been wanting to make this recipe for you guys. It's a Dr. Furman recipe, but his recipe is like really, really, really lots and lots and lots of pieces and parts to it. And I'm only using the resistant starch part of it. Um, so this recipe is for a black bean pizza crust that you then would put, and I'm gonna do this part, put hummus on top of it, but theirs is a beet hummus. And then you make a tahini sauce for it. And it, the recipe, and it, you roast chickpeas. And it, the recipe just kind of goes on and on and on. Like this is a really detailed in-depth recipe. I am not having any of that, but I am going to do the pizza crust part of it and see if this works because this would be kind of neat to actually have um, a pizza crust that's made out of black beans. That's kind of cool. So this is what we're doing. I have two cans of black beans that I have drained and rinsed. I actually usually rinse the beans in the can, um, but they were super thick this time. So they were there was no rinsing them in the can this time. So two, um, two cans of black beans. And then this part I had to start, you're supposed to do ahead of time. So in here is two tablespoons of ground flaxseed and one tablespoon of chia seeds, and then a third of a cup of water. And you're supposed to do this ahead of time so it could get like gooey, <laughs> very, very, very gooey. So I did that part. So this is going to go into here, I think with the spices, let me check that part. I'm not actually sure to be honest with you. Yes. So you put the beans, the flax, this mixture into here, and then in here also goes um, garlic, you have three tablespoons of nutritional yeast and two teaspoons of garlic powder. So that's all that goes in here for, you, for your pizza crust. Um, once you're done with that, you wanna put it on, it says parchment paper on a cookie sheet. So I've got my silicone mat that works. Um, and bake it at 350 degrees for half an hour. Um, it's supposed to be very, I, I'm very, very certain this is supposed to be a thin crust. Um, I was going to make it in like a pie dish but it says that it needs to be 10 to 11 inches and my pie dishes are eights. So I figured we'll go ahead and do this. I thought it'd be super convenient to put it in the pie dish because then it just, you shake it until it forms the shape that you want it to be. Anyways, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go put this together. Um, nothing terribly exciting, just blending stuff and put it in the oven. Um, and then I will show you what it looks like when it comes out and hopefully it is finished and cooked and, and I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I have not made anything like this before, and I'm really hopeful that this actually works out well, because this is what I want to feed my kids for supper tonight too. So, I will see you guys in a little bit when this is done cooking. Alrighty guys, I don't think this works. <laughs> so, this smells wonderful, um, and I'm going to make it anyway, and I think it's going to taste just fine, but it's going to not be finger food. And pizza is typically finger food, and this just is not setting up um, like it would need to be. To be. I mean, it's. It's close, just not quite, not quite right. I did cook it for 45 minutes rather than 30 to try and get it to crisp up enough to call it done. Mm, not, not really. So what I was planning on doing with this was we have a, the hummus that we buy at the store that is oil free. I'm planning on using hummus on here to make it delicious. Lots of beans actually. Bean crust, bean hummus. Okay, and then I am planning on, I thought about um, sauteing some mushrooms and some onions and that kind of stuff and I just have decided that I'm going to go a little bit simpler than that. I have scallions. These are actually from the store, not from our backyard, which is crazy because I never buy scallions at the store. But ours are massive. We need to uproot them and replant them. Okay, scallions and avocado. 
you could definitely put more on this if you wanted to, like a little sprinkle of um, some something that would be a, a flavor that you might enjoy, maybe some paprika, or um, I'm not sure what other flavors you might want to put on here, to be honest with you. Whatever it is that you like, right? All right. So there, oh, my hands are a mess. Hang on, I'll be right back. So there you have it. Here is our black bean pizza crust pizza. So I will try this for you guys in um, just a minute. I need to take a picture of it real quick so I have a thumbnail that you guys will have seen. And um, yeah, I'll be back to talk to you about what it tastes like in just a minute. All right, here we go. Hmm. That's actually fantastic. That is super, super good. Well, I have to say, if you don't mind the fact that it doesn't stay together, that it's gonna crumble apart, um, flavor-wise, that's really, really good. I was actually thinking about if you, when I was getting it done, I was like, man, maybe you put some flour in it, it would actually hold it together a little bit better. But, I don't know. That is really, really tasty, though. Um, yeah, I'm glad I made that. I will definitely have a couple slices of that. That's pretty darn tasty. So, that is it for me for today, guys. I'm hoping you're having a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow for a potato day.